Hey everybody! Welcome to week two of our Blast Off series. I'm Captain Hannah and I'm so glad you've joined us today. Our space exploration team has been learning about how to launch our faith to new heights. We've got lots of fun things happening this week. On Monday, we're gonna do some fun games and astronaut training. On Tuesday, we're gonna do an experiment for orbital observations. On Wednesday, we're gonna make some awesome cosmic creations. And Thursday, we'll have live galactic trivia online. Make sure to follow Caledonia Kids on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube so you don't miss any of the fun activities we've got going on. Last week, we learned a new song called Children of the Light. This song reminds us how much Jesus loves us and how we can shine his light for the rest of the world to see. Let's sing this song and worship our God together.
week, we heard the Bible story of Jesus visiting Mary and Martha, and we learned that we can spend time with God. This week, we are going to hear another Bible story about Jesus that helps us see that people can help our faith grow. This Bible story is from the book of Mark. Jesus was traveling from town to town, teaching people about God. He came to the town of Capernaum. He went into a house to preach, and everyone wanted to hear what he had to say. A big crowd of people gathered and squished inside the house to listen to Jesus teach. There was one man who really wanted to get to Jesus, but he couldn't walk. Since he couldn't get to Jesus on his own, he needed the help of some of his friends. His friends picked him up and carried him on his mat to the house where Jesus was teaching. They tried to get inside, but they couldn't get through the door because it was so crowded. So the men climbed onto the roof, carried their friend up with them, cut a hole in the ceiling, and lowered their friend through the roof all the way down to Jesus. Can you imagine if someone did that right now? When Jesus saw the man on the mat, he said, Son, your sins are forgiven. Everyone wondered why Jesus said that. Jesus explained, The Son of God has the power to forgive sins. Then Jesus said to the man, Get up off your mat. You can walk and go home. Everyone watched in amazement as the man got up, picked up his mat, and walked. Jesus had healed him. Everyone praised God and said, We have never seen anything like this. It was amazing. The man in this story couldn't have gone to Jesus without his friends. And when he did get to Jesus, his life was changed. He had some pretty great friends. Just like this man, our friends can help us get closer to Jesus too. They can encourage us, pray for us, and talk to us about Jesus. And we can do the same for our friends. Friendships are important. So this week, think about all the people you love and remember this. People can help our faith grow. The man in the story needed to meet Jesus, but he couldn't get to him. Not only was the house where Jesus was teaching completely full, but this man wasn't able to walk at all. The man's friends picked him up on his mat and carried him all the way to the house where Jesus was. But they didn't stop there. They climbed up on the roof, they dug a hole in the roof, they got some rope and figured out what to do. They lowered their friend down to hopefully fixed whoever's roof they destroyed. When the man finally met Jesus and his friends, the man got more than he ever dreamed he Jesus not only healed his leg, even more importantly, Jesus forgave him and gave him brand new life. How can we help each other to grow closer to Jesus? You may never need to dig a hole in a roof and throw one of your friends through it, but what are some other ways we can help our friends get closer to Jesus? Well, we can pray for them and encourage them when they're sad. Tell them about Jesus and invite them to church or right now invite them to watch church online. I've got a challenge for you this week. I want you to write a card or letter to somebody who has helped you grow closer to Jesus. Maybe this is a family member, a friend, or a teacher. Send them some old-fashioned snail mail and tell them how they helped you grow closer to Jesus. If you send me a picture of your letter, you get three entries into this week's prize drawing. Space Explorers, thanks so much for joining our crew this morning. See you soon. Bye!